I'm at Terminal 2 of Dubai Airport, going to Africa today. Let's go. This is the start of my African adventure. I'm gonna fly on Rwanda to go to Rwanda. Hello, Hello there. Morning. Morning. Welcome on board, Pisa. Your seat number is 2A. Thank you. Morning. Just got on board. Surprisingly green color. It's quite nice actually. Um, I can see it's one of these staggered one to one business classic. It's called the Thomson Vantage. I'm sure I've flown it in the past. Quite a few airlines adopted this. Champagne, this water, orange juice. Okay, I have a glass of champagne. Okay. So, how do you say thank you in your language? Uh, Murakozi. Murakozi. Yes. Flying an African airline to Rwanda, expecting African pilots here, but actually, my friend Susan is flying me tonight. She's from Singapore, and we actually knew each other in the UAE. And I want you guys to hear her out about her pilot career story. I started in 2005. I was a flight attendant uh, for Etihad Airways in Abu Dhabi, and I was very fortunate to be up, um, given the opportunity to be a cadet pilot and grew my career as a first officer in Etihad Airways and somewhere along the lines over the last few years I thought I wanted to change I wanted to experience Africa and Rwanda has given me the perfect opportunity and here I am I would like to introduce Captain Santosh um, Hello everyone Flight time today is 5 hours and 15 minutes and we'll be cruising at a final altitude of flight level 380. Captain, I heard Kigali is a pretty high altitude airport. I looked it up before I came, 5,000 feet above sea level. Yes, it is. It's almost uh, 5,000 feet above mean sea level. And uh, the interesting part about Kigali, it's a tabletop runway. It's a unidirectional runway. So you land on runway 28 and you take off on runway 10, irrespective of the wind direction in Kigali. So we have about 30 minute delay. I was still waiting inside the plane. I came down and I found out they have premium economy. How did you like this premium economy seat? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing seat. Is it? Yes. It's pretty good actually. I have to say yeah, it's good. It's a more space. You know, uh, because the 330, this airplane, 232. 232 is not bad for premium economy. Because some airlines 242 on 777, 242, more seats. So there's a mini cabin here, 21 seats, three rows of premium economy. The one. chicken but the portion I'm not quite sure I'm a big guy I think I need five of these yeah a little bit small for lots of big African guy with the muscles where are you heading to where are you going Tiki Gadi are uh, you from Rwanda yeah from Rwanda and you but you work in Dubai yeah I work in Dubai and then how long you haven't been home uh, I lived here for two years since COVID? Yeah, since, since COVID, since January wow. to 2020. You must be excited, you cannot sleep now. You're yeah. almost four hours, you're gonna be home. Yeah, I can sleep. Yeah. Four hours is a little, so... I, I think the leg room is quite good from what I see you are sitting. Yeah. How's the leg room like? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah? It's cool. All right, I'm gonna come and try a little bit. Yeah, I think, 
I think it's standard, right? Yeah, it's standard. Maybe you're smaller, you look like good. Yeah. When I sit down, it's... No, but it looks like uh, a little bit no, like you have this, more room than me, yeah. Uh, I think it's standard, it's standard, yeah. So probably the best leg room in economy is the first row in the bulkhead in the middle here. The leg room is really good. This is row number 12. So when you are checking, try to get this row. You got way better leg room than the rest. got a big tray and a, a tiny portion of salad on the big tray a little interesting here <laughs> um, and I also actually went down to premium economy so the premium economy has the same food as economy um, so there's no difference but it has better seating do you like to have some bread uh, brown bread white bread and chocolate this bread. looks funny what is oh, this yeah. chocolate bread oh, okay I'll have one of these okay it looks very funny Okay, thank you. Hello, this is uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from South Africa. This is 2017. This is 2017. They are both dry red wine from South Africa. It's 4.30 in the morning. This can be a dinner or it can be a breakfast. It's not bad, the lasagna, but I was expecting maybe a bit more African food. I have no idea what Rwandan food looks like. and I'm going to try out when I get to Rwanda. The other thing what I like about is they have this logo on all the glasses and their uh, plates on the pepper and salt shaker so there's lots of logo which i really want to take this home this is an overnight flight we still have about three and a half hour so i'm gonna take a nap um when the seats goes fully flat there is a problem the there is a gap around you know just around my uh, between my back and my bottom so it's not quite comfortable uh, i don't know if it's every seat or just mine and uh, the pillow can be a little bit more thicker or plushier so hopefully the airline can take notes and improve it good morning charged my battery about three hours and I uh, moved to row one. I figured out row one has a bigger footwell and it's literally unrestricted. So that is the best seat. Right now, 6.20 a.m. Seeing the daybreak just coming, descending into the clouds and very excited. Uh, 10 minutes away from uh, touchdown in Kigali. Well, there you go. The announcement just matched my, what I'm saying. Wow, only starting seeing the ground one minute before landing and it's really on a tabletop the whole runway. Uh, it's still very sleepy, very foggy out there. Um, yeah, looking forward to get out of the plane to explore the country now. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Um, landing here was okay. Visibility was about one mile. Um, not so typical of Kigali, but I'm glad we made it. And, uh, and um, for you, enjoy Kigali. I hope you see lots of the gorillas. And thank you for flying with us. Wow! <laughs> I smell the air of Africa. It's been a while. It's been two and a half years. Now I finally touched down again. I can't wait. It feels so energetic now. Let's go. Right, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you another time. This unique building is actually the terminal of Kigali. It's 
got a bit of African feel. It didn't look like the normal airport terminal to me. Kigali, the, the center where we're heading to, is the, the main hill. But today, after 27 years after the 1994 genocide, it has expounded to more than 30 hills. a couple hours drive finally we arrive at my hotel room tonight this is the best of the room that we have on the resorts today you're going to enjoy mr sam welcome home away from home let's check this out oh very nice all this none of extra cost you're free to enjoy as much as you can uh, mr sam this is your bedroom where you're going to stay this is all yours today uh, check it out. also as you're here you have the jacuzzi we didn't forget that oh my uh, god uh, look at this there is a jacuzzi here yeah so wow. next time uh did you come for honeymoon anniversary and everything <laughs> you should have found the roses everywhere oh Chambay, my Hawaii, god look at the view today the secret area i know you hadn't seen this i'm scared now they're so <laughs> big here i'm so scared so many things this Whoa. is everything for you seriously you can use as much as you can this is um, the shower room this is your toilet very nice and this is all my bags is already here your bags are already here Good morning. Today, we're going inside the hills to see gorillas. Visitation of gorillas in Rwanda is $1,500 for one hour per visit per day. It's super expensive. Not really. <laughs> That's a high-end strategy in order to control uh, the influx of or traffic, right. human traffic into the forests. So this is the start of the trail. We're given a walking stick with the gorillas on. So let's go and check out. And as you can tell, I'm not much of an exercise guy. I'm not the fittest guy to do this. And I'm just praying that it's not going to be a very tough trail walking up. As you can tell, I'm inexperienced going through the muddy volcano ground. Uh, there's a nice guy here, he's like a porter and also helping me, you know, he's literally carrying me right now to get through this. We're still climbing, ascending. It's pretty high altitude as well, 3,000 meter above sea level right now. So, uh, the big mountain is today, huh? uh, it's called the Sabino. Sabino, it's one of the five volcanoes we have here in that area. Now we're going into really deep rainforest now, I guess. We're getting closer and closer now. I think I hear something. really incredible close we're like a several meter close there's a family of 18 today we're lucky day just a few minutes into the jungle 
I saw the whole family and some of the, the male was resting because lots of babies are playing. So this is the happiness after seeing they're so close, they're just like walking past us. Yeah, you know, really, really like today. Uh, we saw the gorillas in the open place and uh, in the resting time, they were in the good moods. The babies were playing each other and uh, uh, Silverback was posing and sitting, sleeping. <laughs> just <laughs> couldn't get cuter, couldn't get better. Yeah. <laughs> I had a short but sweet stay. I think that was the most expensive hotel suite I've ever stayed in. Now we're gonna fly a helicopter back to Kigali. That's the way to travel to see the country, right? Riding a helicopter. I, I'm not familiar with helicopter. I'm also always flying on fixed wing airplane. Uh, what actually model this one is? Uh, this one is an Augusta 119. Uh, it's uh, made in Philadelphia. It's uh, six passengers. So how long today will be the flight time? The flight will be 30 minutes to Kigali. How high we're flying? Like we'll be flying 500 feet. Above 500 feet? Yes. Amazing. It's gonna be a great view. Thank you. We saw a lot of terrain. This country is made of so many hills and foothills, right? Um, 500 feet, similar to my sling flying over and sightseeing. Very steady ride, very nice. It makes me remember flying my own little sling. There's quite a bit of snack here. Uh, there's samosas. There's uh, chicken noodles. My trip to Rwanda was a, such a surprise. Apart from the great aviation experience, my favorite must be the gorilla experience. But now I am moving on to another new country, Kenya. 